okay let us discuss the next problem this is a fairly easy problem so uh, from 1.1 1 .1 to 2 so this is from Erodo so this is a disk of mass M so disk there is a disk and mass of the disk is M this is given in the problem slide with initial zero velocity so V is zero initial velocity is zero down an inclined plane set an angle 60 degrees so there is an inclined plane so let me put something like this so this disk is coming here inclined plane is here and this inclined plane has angle alpha that is 30 degree this is given in the problem now basically this is a problem of work energy theorem so you assume that disk is a point so we will uh, assume disk as a point having traveled a distance of L along the horizontal plane so it says a disk of mass M slides with zero initial velocity down an inclined plane set an angle alpha to the horizontal having transverse traversed the distance L along the horizontal plane so this means this disk is uh, going down and after some time it travel a distance L on the horizontal plane also so the distance travel on the horizontal plane is L so this travels a distance L on the horizontal plane now and then a stops so here the stops so V is 0 this means I have to apply kinetic energy theorem initial velocity is 0 final velocity is 0 so this means change in kinetic energy is 0 I know this thing change in kinetic energy is 0 that is delta k is 0 so find the work performed by the friction forces over the whole distance assuming that friction coefficient k for both inclined as well as horizontal surface so friction coefficient is k here also we have friction here also we have friction so both have friction coefficient k now to find out the work done it's slightly easy you see in this region how we will find the work done you find the forces mg is downside and then this will have a component now mg sine theta will come so let me draw here so this is m mg is down now if you draw perpendicular here angle between line is equals to angle between perpendicular so this angle is alpha now on this line this is the perpendicular on this line this is the perpendicular so angle between line is equals to angle between so this is alpha so this is mg cos alpha and this side will have mg sin alpha now friction force is this is coming downside so friction force will add up and the value will be mu times n a because this is a sliding friction k m z cos alpha so this is the friction force that will act now work done when this distance is given so basically this distance is not given in the problem what is the distance by which it traversed any idea so this is mass m length l coefficient of friction is k initial velocity is 0 find the work performed now how can we find this height or this length that is the important point now you see can I use anything to find work performed any idea you have to find this length how to find this length because force I know force along the plane is so this plane along the down along down plane what is the force this force is nothing but mg sin alpha minus k times mg cos alpha so this is the force if I multiply by displacement I will get now in this in this case if the motion is happening on horizontal friction is simply mu times so friction is again so if the moving in horizontal friction force is acting in this direction then this will be simply k times mz because normal reaction is 
equals to mg so in this case normal reaction is mg in this case normal reaction is basically mg cos alpha in the previous case mg cos alpha and that's why we have taken friction force is k mg cos alpha are you getting or not in this case friction force is simply k mg now work performed in this case is so uh, work done along work done along horizontal done along horizontal plane so along the horizontal plane what is the work done so simple force is k m g force is acting in this way displacement is happening in this way so displacement is l now cos is 180 degree because force is acting this side and displacement is happening this side so you have force this side and displacement this side so there is an angle of 180 degree so you will have minus k m g l so this is the work done along the horizontal plane what is the work done? so to find length of incline what we can do is uh, let us say length of incline is l2 so length of incline let us assume what i can do is i know the force is acting along the incline basically i know the acceleration along the incline so i can find what is the velocity here and if i know the velocity here and i know the velocity here i know the acceleration in this region i can write two times v is equals to u v square minus u square so you see when it's coming down along the incline what is the acceleration total force down the incline that we have written mg sin alpha minus kmg cos alpha so acceleration is divided by mass this means g sin alpha minus g sin alpha minus if i divide by mass so mass will cancel out so kz cos alpha now so what is the displacement l2 s is equals to uh, v square minus u square is equals to 2s if i apply this formula so let me write v square that is the final velocity minus initial velocity is equals to 2a acceleration is g sin alpha minus kz cos alpha 2as s is the distance travel that is l2 we have assumed now this is the velocity so this is the first part now if this is going along this line horizontal line this is the initial velocity final velocity is zero so this is final velocity is zero and acceleration in this case basically we have deceleration and deceleration in this case force is acting in this direction k times mz so deceleration is basically minus k mz by m so this is minus kz so now we can write again final velocity v square minus u square is equals to 2s final velocity is zero v square minus u square u is this now this becomes the initial velocity u square is 2z and sin alpha minus k cos alpha k cos alpha into l2 this is a u square is equals to 2a a is what v square minus u square is equals to 2as s is uh, a is minus k times z so minus k times z into displacement is l so from here i can find l2 is nothing but minus minus cancels out z z cancels out so we have k into l so 2 cancels out z cancels out so i minus cancels out so i will have k times l divided by sin alpha minus sin alpha minus k times cos alpha so this is the l2 now work done i can easily found so you see what will be the what will happen to the work done so work done is total work done is force along the incline into so work done by the friction you see i can always find so w1 plus w2 so work done is nothing but w1 plus w2 work done along the incline so what is the force along the incline so let me see along the incline so when this is coming incline down the incline the force is mg sin alpha minus 
so this is mz sin alpha minus kmz cos alpha this is the force into displacement so what is this displacement down displacement we have already found here so you see that is the l2 l2 is nothing but k times l sin alpha minus k cos alpha so this is the w1 and plus w2 so what is the w2 w2 is force along the so this is the force is mz kmz friction both are negative work done kmz displacement is l so you can see uh, basically we will have what is the coming so sin alpha minus k cos alpha will cancel out i think so sin alpha minus k cos alpha this cancels out so we will have mz kl in first case plus mz kl in the second case so i think i have missed something somewhere it should be so let us check so if sin alpha cancels out so there should be something i am missing so let me check where i am missing 